Are you ready to completely automate your Facebook advertising? In this short video, I'm going to share how to connect the Facebook Catalog Manager to your MLS listings that are sitting on your CRM. In this example, I'm going to share my connections with KV Core, which is the CRM I have over here at eXp Realty. This connection is going to completely change how you do advertising in 2020 and beyond. You see, now we'll have a live connection of those listings, saving you valuable time and money in showcasing them to the market. When a new listing hits the MLS, your ads are going to be updated automatically. And when a house sells, and we know in today's day and age they're selling quickly, you don't have to go back into the ad manager and pull it off the, off the list it'll automatically update for you. I think you're gonna love this video. Hello, I am Smarty. Welcome to my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss another video that I place here. I look to put videos out at least twice a week for realtors, investors, and entrepreneurs. Let's dive into this subject and let me show you how to connect your Facebook ads directly to your MLS listings on your CRM. Okay, the first step in setting up the connection with Facebook and uh, KV Core in this example is I need to go into my KV Core back office. So when you log into your KV Core, you're going to come over to Lead Engines right here on the left hand side, and we're going to go to this Lead drop box, and you're going to click on that lead source. What's going to happen is it's going to generate a, uh, a, a number of keys for Zillow, Zapier, and email. And what we're going to do in this example is we're going to use the Z uh, Zapier key. So I'm going to copy that key. Now what we want to do with the key is we're going to create a URL that we're going to use inside of Facebook when we set up the catalog connection. So over in here I just have a, a, a simple sheet that shows what that URL is. And what I'll do is in the YouTube video below in the notes section I will paste this URL so you'll be able to access it when you set up your KB Core connection. In this uh, section, you'll see HTTP, API, kbcore.com, export listings, forward slash, and then in the API, I put in your Zapier key here, slash seven. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste it in here. So now I have the full URL that I'm going to use inside of the Facebook catalog setup. What I'm going to want to do is copy this entire URL and then I'm going to jump over to the Facebook side and we're going to set up the catalog to automatically pull the data from the MLS into the catalog. So you'll see that in a second. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Facebook, the business manager, to set up the catalog. If you don't have the catalog or know what business manager is, make sure you subscribe to my Facebook Masterclass course down below where I'll teach you how to set all this up, including creating your Facebook ads. If you remember from my other videos where I showed the catalog manager of loading a, a spreadsheet uh, in my previous video and actually creating the catalog ad, I'll put links up above in this video so you can go back and check those out. Uh, this is going to be a continuation video. What we're going to do is we're going to go to catalog manager. So if you remember in catalog manager with the tools, it's the nine dots over here. You click on it and all these beautiful tools from Facebook are available to us. The catalog manager up, is up here in my shortcuts because I previously was in there for my other videos. If you don't have it in the shortcuts, just come all the way down on the list and you have it right down here, catalog manager. We're going to head and click it. This is going to open up the window. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit this add catalog button here. So in the add catalog, it's going to ask us what type of catalog are we creating? So as real estate uh, investors and, and realtors, we're doing real estate, so that's pretty obvious. So we're going to click on Home Listings and hit Next. We have the ability to pick uh, the owner of the page. So uh, I'll go ahead and pick the owner of my page, and uh, we'll give it a name. So uh, I'm going to call it Melinda's um, Listing Catalog. We'll give it a quick name. And uh, if I want to, I can uh, identify the uh, website where this particular a um, uh, listing is going to. So I'm going to just hit create for right now. When I'm done I hit view catalog and uh, it's going to take a few minutes just to set it up and it's done. So we've done the first step is create the catalog. Now we need to fill the catalog with homes and up here you see the catalog has zero right now. 
So we're going to do that by going over to data sources. And under data sources, we'll say add home listings. Now, if you remember the other video I did, I did the file upload approach where I took an Excel spreadsheet and I put all my listings, whether you're an investor or a realtor, you have a list of deals, you have a list of homes. You could use the spreadsheet method where you just load them all into a pre-formatted spreadsheet from Facebook and load it into the system. I also mentioned that you could also do a Google Sheet. So if you have a shared Google Sheet and listings are going on and off of that sheet, you can connect this catalog to that Google Sheet. But what we're going to do is we're going to automate everything by connecting as a realtor, have a scheduled feed right from the MLS so that this catalog is a living, breathing database of all the listings throughout the year. So we're going to go ahead and click Schedule Feed and hit Next. All we have to do now is paste that URL that I did in the earlier step from KV Core. So this has the Zapier key in it and the dash seven at the end. We're then gonna go ahead and put in the username and the password and hit next. So once we put in the username and the password, hit next, uh, it's now gonna ask for what kind of schedule do we want? We could have this catalog updated hourly, daily or weekly. Since we're in real estate, I think daily is the appropriate one. I know houses are flying off the market, but they're not doing it in hours or typically within a day or two. So we just want to make sure that our catalog of homes is updated every day. Uh, and we could set the time that we want the update. So wait, maybe we want to start our day fresh. So we're going to do 8 uh, a.m. Uh, every day. And I'll set my uh, time zone. So in this case, I'm on the East Coast. So I'll go down and pick the East Coast time zone. Uh, I'll just pick one of them here for right now. So uh, in the system, add automatic updates, that's turned on. So that means it's going to detect any updates. So if a home listing price changes, the catalog will be updated that next morning. Uh, or if the home sells, it'll come off the catalog. New homes are being listed, it'll be added to the catalog. So all these automatic updates, make sure that's turned on. And then we hit next. Over here, we can name it. So we'll call it Melinda's... Over here, we're going to name it. So I'll just call it my uh, listing. And we'll give it a uh, currency. We're in the US, so I'll keep it US dollars. And all I'm going to do is hit the up look, update button. This is going to take a few minutes. And uh, in a few minutes, you'll see how many homes it pulled off the MLS for my catalog. This is going into your KB Core. It's going into the listings and it already showed me there's 107 listings within my brokerage at eXp that agents around me, including my own listings, um, are uh, available. And I can now start advertising these listings to get buyer leads uh, using Facebook ad strategies. So it didn't take long, a few seconds, and now I have a beautiful list of 107 homes. If I come over here to the items tab, you'll see all those beautiful homes here ready to be advertised. How cool is that? No more days of creating one-off ads, grabbing pictures off the internet, resizing them, putting them into the Facebook ad. As a realtor, this is gonna save you enormous amount of time of getting all your listings into an ad campaign to drive many, many leads to you along the way. Now, one of the cool things here is over here we have our, our listings. What we can do over here is we can also create what's called sets. And sets will allow me to, in this case, it actually found uh, 49 are the ones that actually came in. They're the live listings. So I, the other number was, uh, I guess, maybe a, a, a previous number. But uh, I now see all these homes in here. So in one ad, I probably wouldn't want to do a, an ad that has 49 homes in it. It would just be too much for a buyer to navigate through a Facebook ad. So what I can do is I can say create set. And what I can do in the set here with 49 is I can do price categories. So if I look at some of the, the, the homes here, um, you know, I have them in different price ranges. Maybe I want to do a set that's based on city. So over in city, these are all the cities that are in that database. So maybe I want to do uh, Hartford as one ad campaign, all the homes in Hartford. Okay, so I'll give it a name and I'll call it Hartford uh, Listings. Okay, and then hit create. So now I have a simple ad set called Hartford Listings. I can do a single ad and the buyer will navigate through these homes and pick the one they want. 
When they click on it, it'll go up to KB Core. It'll uh, show them the, the details of that listing. Or I'm a chatbot, or what I like to do is use a lead form and then put them right into the chatbot. And the reason I do a chatbot is the chatbot's interactive because you don't know when they see this ad. You could be sound asleep. And you don't want them just to go to your Facebook or your KB Core page, right, and hope they give you information. You want to capture that lead data and you want the chatbot to talk to the person in the middle of the night. What the chatbot's going to do here is ask them what they think of the property and would they like to ask a question and call you or would they like to schedule a showing. And you can have your chatbot working for you around the clock, scheduling showings to these beautiful listings. If you don't have a chatbot and you want to drive them to the website, go ahead and drive them to the website. But what you'll see here is an automation like no other. This has automated your entire Facebook ad campaign so that all these listings are real-time being pulled from the MLS. Check out my other video that I did on the channel this earlier this week where I show now taking these ad sets and actually generating the ad. You'll, you'll see soup the nuts A to Z, how I take an ad set and I throw it into an ad campaign and publish and get it into the marketplace. I hope you enjoyed this video and again if you like it give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because I have some more goodies for you along the way of leveraging technology to make this the best decade ever for you as a realtor, investor, or entrepreneur.